Welcome back to Home Gardening, my name is Natalie and in this video I want to show you how to take cuttings from ivy pelargoniums and in this video I'm going to be taking cuttings only of one type of pelargonium ivy pelargonium with these beautiful leaves so the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to increase their number because the way they bloom is just amazing for me. Are very good one of it is too leggy so I decided it's an appropriate time to take some cuttings of them and to propagate them for the next season generally ivy pelargoniums are super easy to care for especially when you stick to some rules first of all do not overwater them they keep a lot of moisture in their fleshy leaves. Try to water them once a week, it will be enough. Secondly, if you want your flowers bloom profusely, try to add some fertilizer every time you water them. And remember to put your flowers on the sunniest place in your home, especially if you grow them indoors like a house plants. So now I'm going to be taking some cuttings from them and trying to build up a good number of them. And I hope by spring they will be a decent size and I will be able to grow some nice flowers till summer. So here you can see one of my bush of ivy pelargonium. And now I'm going to take some cuttings of this bush. As you can see, this is the leggy one. And this stem is so so long, so I just um, I'm gonna follow this stem back and I'm gonna cut it off just about one of the nodes. Can you see here there is a node? And this is where some new grows coming out from and that means I can make this one into cutting as well so I just gonna follow this stem back and cut about the knot This is my first cutting. And this is how my bush looks now, after pruning. So these are my cuttings. Uh, you have to take off all these lower leaves 
because if there is too many leaves on my cotton it will dry out too fast and it will dry out before I can have a chance to grow any roots. Do it very gently. Now we got really nice selection of cuttings here, ready to make into a new plants. And now I'll be planting them into a transparent pot. I've already prepared a pot, filled up with potting mix. I just take it and put into a soil. And this is it. It's very good to use transparent plastic pot because when roots appear, you can see it here, here also, and you don't need to bother a plant to pull it out of soil. So now I'll just spray it a little with, a little bit with water and leave in a sunniest place for about two weeks and after two weeks I will show you how my ivy geraniums feels. And now guys I want to answer some questions you asked me in my social media. First question is how do you test for root growth without damaging any potential roots? Well, I normally know their rooting when they start to produce some leaves at the top of the plant. But uh, sometimes I very carefully try to pull out them from the ground and to see whether there are some roots or not. But I always like to plant my plant in a transparent pots. It is very helpful for me and I hope will be very helpful for you to see some small roots in a transparent plastic pot. The next question is if I plant a cotton upside down would they still take? Well, if you put your cuttings upside down um, it's very unlikely they will take as the growing tip would just rot and the other end would just dry out and will be unable to produce some roots. Um, it was very funny situation with me. Once I plant ivy upside down because I just cut it, it pulled down on the ground and I was in a rush and I didn't notice what part I planted the ground, so I planted it upside down and it just rot. It didn't give any roots, it just rot. The next question is water or soil propagation? I would say <laughs> if you propagate your flowers seldom, then you can put it in water and to see the whole process from the very beginning, how roots appeared. But uh, I would advise you propagate ivy pelargoniums in the ground, in the soil, because ivy pelargoniums are very hard to produce some roots in the water, they just rot in the water. So zonal pelargoniums can be propagated in water but not ivy ivy i would advise you to propagate in soil so guys i hope this video was helpful for you 
Please let me know in the comments below whether it was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your thumbs up. Till my next video, I love you. Bye!